The XE series of Torcom IP PBX appliances supports a front panel USB port, as well as USB ports on the rear panel, two on the XE2000, four on the XE3000. In addition, there is a dedicated internal flash drive which, by default, is not activated. This internal flash drive provides restore to factory default functionality. Under normal operation, when you switch on the Torcom server, the display panel indicates loading. After about a minute of system initialization, the display text changes to Torcom. Your PBX is now operational, having booted from the server's hard drive. Note that if you have inserted a Torcom Rapid Recovery Disk on Key in either the front panel or rear panel USB ports prior to switching on the power, the system will boot from it first. This is as per the boot up sequence that is defined in the factory default BIOS settings. In order to access and activate the internal flash drive and restore the PBX to factory default, you need to connect a keyboard and monitor to the server. Then, within five seconds of switching on the server's power switch, you need to press the Enter button on the front panel. The liquid crystal display will show loading from internal flash text and the LEDs will flash. On the monitor you connected to the server, the rapid recovery utility will be displayed. Choose Restore the system from a backup. The naming convention for the factory default version from SORCOM is FD hyphen and the serial number of the unit. Choose that file by pressing Enter. Reboot the server and your PBX, now running the factory default version, is ready to go. If you have made changes to the factory default, such as adding your own software, and are confident that you want the updated version to be available as a fallback, you can add your version to the factory default on the internal flash drive. Use the same method described before for accessing the internal flash drive, that is, within five seconds of powering on the server, make sure to press the enter button on the front panel. When the rapid recovery utility comes up on the screen, choose the backup the system option from the main menu and provide a name for the backup file. The backup creation process will take a few minutes. Once it is complete, you will get notification on the screen.